What do you do after your political position as Sioux Falls Mayor turns out and you leave City Hall? Well, if you're former Sioux Falls Mayor Mike Huther, you hit the road and you follow the stories that make Kelloland great. Only you don't stop there, because you also work to bring those stories to life by sharing them with Kelloland viewers. He's here to tell us more about the idea and tonight's big premiere. Welcome, Mike. Thank you, Jeff. Appreciate it. Well, nice to be on Kelloland Living. It's great to see you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Well, well, let's begin. How does a former mayor get started on a TV show? I uh, certainly enjoyed being uh, this, the mayor of this great city. I uh, really had, had just an inspirational time doing it, but there's other ways that we can make a difference. And, and uh, you'll see it tonight on Kelloland On the Road with Mike Huther. We're making a difference in just a, a different way. So you've been visiting different communities in the Kelloland region, and yes. you started with uh, Lennox. I did. Uh, there's three things that we're trying to do, uh, at least with our, with our first program. Uh, we wanted to go into a city where I already knew a, a story, and, and in Lennox, South Dakota, there's a story about the only one, uh, and the story about this man who had this dream uh, to start this business, but then suddenly he passed away. Uh, but then... This, this family made up of these strong, positive, motivated women, uh, they kept that dream alive. And, and you'll see this story tonight. Uh, you'll, you'll, you'll laugh, you'll cry, but you will certainly be inspired. What was one of your biggest takeaways from this trip to Lennox? That, uh, you know, th this life isn't always uh, uh, probably deemed as fair. Um, things happen uh, that, that are tragic, but at the same time, you can still lift yourselves up and lift families up and make great things happen, not only for a family, but for a business, for a community. And in Lenox, South Dakota, all three of them come together just to create a, a great story. Now, your next trip in this was to Marion, South Dakota. Do you care to explain that trip? Marion was a community that I've never been to before. And actually, it was, in, it was inspired by Jane Andrews here at Kelland TV. Uh, she encouraged me to Mike, go to Marion, see what you can find, and I did. I found this incredible story about a business and, and a man and a son that, that worked their tails off in this dirty, greasy, grimy, really tough environment. Um, but the ag community all around the town of Marion, they are winning because of this grit of, uh, of this man and, and son and, and business and and uh, it is one story you do not want to miss, especially if you care about agriculture in, in South Dakota. And I know everyone does. Yeah, and so you found Marion to be a very tight-knit community. You know, uh, I, I'll be brutally honest. Every town that I've gone to so far, and I've gone to quite a few, they're all tight-knit. That's what makes them so special. And that's one of the storylines that I think that we're going to bring to the Kelland audience is that, uh, you know, there's things going on outside of the bigger cities like Rapid and, and Sioux Falls and Aberdeen. There's great inspirational positive things happening in these small towns too. And Marion is one of them. And I can't wait for you to watch tonight. Uh, you'll, you'll, you'll see why. Interesting. So now we're going to go south and you actually went to Centerville, South <laughs> Dakota. Uh, this was a story that was inspired by my son-in-law, David. He said, uh, you know, Mike, wouldn't it be cool to find that, that, that town in South Dakota that has, you know, one of the smallest enrollments in their high school, but yet still rallies around the community to bring uh, high school athletics uh, to, to the town. And we found it in Centerville, home of the tornadoes. And I'll tell you, if you have any passion for sports or uh, young people or communities that rally around them, you will be so inspired by what's happening in Centerville, South Dakota. And uh, it's just a great story. And, and at the end, you will cheer, maybe with a little tear in your eye at the same time. Had you been to Centerville before? I not. And that's kind of one of the, the cool things about this journey that Kel Land has provided uh, uh, for me is that I can go to towns and counties all across this great area that I've never been to before. And I'm, I'm just loving it. Um, and again, my goal is to find these people that we don't really know much about or these organizations or these causes, and I'm going to bring them to light, and we'll all just go, wow, we all have special stories, and uh, Kel and On the Road with Mike Huther will we'll share them. Now, this sounds so inspiring and interesting. I would like to know how the show came about, like what got you so interested in starting this up? 
Uh, I am I, I, I am a fan of the of the show that Charles Corral did. Um, it it definitely inspired me. Uh, uh, that ability to go into any town or to meet any person and find that story. I I love that idea. And then Steve Hartman does it still today. And I love that same thing. I've got a combination of my mom and dad. And one thing that both of them love were, were, are people. And uh, I've got that same bug. I love people. I want to get to know them. And Jeff, you've got a story. Uh, everyone in, in, that's watching this program has a story. And I want to find it. And I want to bring it to news, uh, or I'm sorry, to, to, to Kelloland. Uh, for the real reason is we're going to inspire people. We're going to bring positivity, positivity to the day. We're going to make people feel good. And uh, then we're going to do it every month after that. And, and I just can't wait. And I'm just so thankful to Kel Land for the opportunity to, to partner together to, to make this happen. Well, good. And we got 30 seconds left. And speaking of stories, how do you come up with your ideas of where to go? Well, uh, to be, I'll, I'll go into a town pretty much cold. And it's the people in that town that I engage they peel back the onion and then we'll give, they'll give me this idea or that idea and then I pursue it. And by the time I'm done in that town, I find the story that I'm going to bring with the help of uh, people like Taylor and so many others at Kelland. And uh, you just can't, will not imagine what's, what's out there. And, and watch tonight because you watch it one time, you will be hooked every time after that. Well, Mike, it is a pleasure as always to see you, sir. Thanks, Jeff. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thanks for the opportunity. Well, you don't want to miss tonight's premiere on, of Kelloland on the Road on your Kelloland stations at 6.30 p.m. Central Time, 5.30 p.m. Mountain Time. Follow along as Mike takes you to Centerville, Marion, and Lenox and brings you inspirational and interesting stories from your neighbors in Kelloland.